currently hiding <laughs> behind this tree rock thing. It's this freaking cold. I didn't know San Francisco was this cold. What's up, P-Nation? Today we are finally exploring the East Bay. San Francisco Bay has been a place we've been for a while and we still have not come to the East Bay. So we're super excited to explore Berkeley and Oakland. Let's go. All right, now we made it to Decathlon, which a lot of you people are probably asking, what the heck is Decathlon? We were in Thailand and we were looking for shoes and we found the store. They're gonna sell us shoes in size 14, but they didn't have any shoes in size 14. I had a hole in the bottom of my shoe the whole time we were in Asia, and this was gonna be the solution, but it wasn't. The one thing we did find here though was snorkeling equipment. It was just such a fun experience. It really felt like we were like somewhere else, not at a department store. So we found one in San Francisco, the first one we've ever found in America. All right, so let's go in and see what they have. Oh my gosh, it is just as cheap in America. They have $5 backpacks, like an actual backpack. I mean, it's, it's probably for like a two year old, but like, that's so cheap. We've needed these so many times. They're like pretty vicious though. We're just like, okay, we're gonna go hiking and then there's snow and we can never hike. Yeah, this is too much for us. I don't think, I don't think Leo would be comfortable wearing those. That would like poke us in our backpack. <laughs> like we got everything. You're like gonna it's, big. it's only big enough for one. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a woman's. Okay, this is what they had in Thailand. Fifteen dollars shoes. Uh, um, I'm thinking that size a no -go. forty. This is the key. Oh my god, fifteen dollar basketball shoes? Are you kidding? Any Nike is like at least sixty five dollars. That's crazy. Kicks. <laughs> we did it. We found the only fourteen. In the freaking store, it's a basketball shoe for fifteen dollars. I have like a little bit of room. <laughs> you guys, we solved the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kip stuff. Kip stuff. We got glitter like on is, the back. This is like. This is like the IKEA brand <laughs> basketball shoes. What is he? What is he doing? Hi, I'm Tally. I check. I check shopping. Have you seen a robot in a store? I haven't. <laughs> Who's controlling him? Does it, how does it know? Does it know that I'm here? Does it know like not to run into me? I've just never seen a robot in a store and I think I'm freaking out and no one else is. And I don't understand why. It's kind of deceptive. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're getting better. <laughs> This is it! We bought one of these in Thailand, I'm pretty sure. This is so funny. I can't believe they have them. It hasn't changed at all. Oh, uh, maybe it's changed a little bit. That is so funny, we have this exact one. So Zach's been looking for like a jump rope his size for the longest time, because it's like something that we could easily put in our bag. You know, it's like a easy, light travel type workout equipment, you know? So we've been looking for like so long, we can't find one, so maybe we can find one here. So all the jump ropes, although very cool, are all too small. We'll just have to keep looking. Maybe buy one online, I don't really know. Zach's just too big for his own good. Tommy. It's too, it's too small. It's too small. Oh. You should be better. Well, I already know that. All right, and that is it. We've had way too much fun in here, but way now we're gonna go to Berkeley. All right, we are now down Lakeshore Avenue in this cool, eclectic neighborhood. Like, what do you think of this place? It's giving me a lot. This is a Saturday, so there's so many people outside. So there's much so activity. much action in the park. There's so many people just like parked on this street. We're here for Arizmendi, which is a bakery that is really well known for their sourdough. It was supposed to be in our sourdough video, but we didn't make it there that day, so I'm really excited to check it out today. So this is a really cool place. It's a employee-owned co-op, and they make only one kind of pizza a day, and when they sell it, they sell out. So we're trying to get a slice right now, but we're here pretty late in the day. <laughs> We got a half pizza and 
the loaf of sourdough. Oh, smells good. Bag of thick shortbread. You can do it. We can do it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh man, this tastes delicious. If you go back and watch our sourdough day of San Francisco sourdough, I made this like whole stink about like crust versus inside. This one is also really good. Pretty thick crust, kind of hard to tear. Which isn't my favorite, but it has great sourdough flavor. Open. We got people working out on this side and across the park. We got a whole boxing class that's warming up. This is crazy. All right, so we got the one pizza they're serving today. It's like spinach and onion and cheese, and it looks like it has red pepper on it. This looks really good. Mmm. Oh. It's like, like a garlic white sauce with caramelized onion and spinach. This is delicious. It's like kind of sweet from the onion. Super salty cheese. This is like the perfect sweet salty pizza. Wow. All right, let me tell you what just happened. So we got our pizza and we were walking down the street and there's just all of a sudden this gigantic farmer's market that came out of nowhere. There were little kids selling $2 lemonade. There are people with fryers spread out across this park that like are frying food. Neighbors are supporting neighbors. Like this is a community and what community is supposed to feel like. All right, and that wraps up the Oakland portion. It was so much fun. I want to spend so much more time here, but we got to get to Berkeley. Daniel's going to show us his school, the first university in California, California State Berkeley. Walked around campus for like an hour and a half, and now we are up the mountain that's like directly behind campus, and it was a crazy drive, and we parked on the side of the road, and now we're like going up this mountain even more. Apparently we're going on a hike. The sunset's about to happen. It's absolutely beautiful out here. You can see everything, like the entire bay at sunset. This is pretty remarkable. This is what we need next time. Look at that. You can lay up there. It's beautiful. You can watch the view of the sunset. Okay, we're doing that next time. It's too cold for this. I'm feeling accelerated. I just had no idea this was here, so I'm like pretty shocked right now. And if I went to school there, I would be up here all the time. Like this would be the coolest place just to go hang out. But it is a crazy drive. Do you wish you would have bought some cold weather gear at Decathlon today? I, yes. I wish I would have bought like three pairs of socks and some snow boots and that hat. I was eyeing a hat today and I didn't buy it because Daniel was like, you don't need a hat. You don't need a hat. But I really wish I had bought that hat because my ears are cold. But this is just like, this is really, really, really cool. Guys, we freaking made it. Look at this view. Okay, this is why we're cold. This is why we're freezing in the sunset. Okay, I don't know if you can oh, see yeah. it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We wow. On that island. Oh my gosh, we are on that island. Wow. Treasure Island. We were just over there. I would point, but my fingers are so cold. <laughs> Look how fast the clouds are moving. Did you bring a little old camera? Nope. You can actually see it. He wants to actually see it. I mean, we actually. I'm currently hiding <laughs> behind this tree rock thing. This is freaking cold. I didn't know San Francisco was this cold. I just found out the other day the coldest it's ever been in San Francisco is 35 degrees. Let that sink in. That is ridiculous. How is it not cold? And we're way up here, the same longitude as Maryland. Like, what is going on? So I'm gonna hide behind this while I watch the sunset. <laughs> Whew, it is freezing. We didn't see the sunset, but today was awesome. From Decathlon to downtown Oakland to Berkeley, like honestly, the East Bay has been so surprising. This turned out to be one of the more fun days we've had. One of the more filming. memorable days, because yeah. Because it was just completely unexpected. 
Like we had a great time in decathlon. Probably way too much fun. Way too much fun. I bet fun. the employees hated us there. Oakland was amazing. Like <laughs> Oakland was amazing. <laughs> Coming across that market was so unexpected and like so much fun. There were so many people out. And just like walking around Berkeley campus and now ending it at the sunset on this mountain. <laughs> no one knew about. Stunning, freezing, but. Freezing. This was so much fun. So much fun. Thanks for watching. Stuff. Normally, we wait for sounds to stop so that it doesn't annoy you because oh, no. I don't know if it does. I don't even know if you can hear what's beeping right now. Okay. Go. Currently running back. <laughs> oh, it's too freezing. Oh. Where's our car? We're going. <laughs> because it's so cold. But you guys wouldn't know because the sun's out. It says it's 55 degrees, but I think it's lying. Careful. Oh! <laughs>